Hello everyone, Scott Snowbell coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. It is July 12, 2015. Kind of forgot what day it was. Uh, 6.30 in the morning. Figured we'd talk to you about a little bit about sales training. Now, one of the things that happens is you may end up having a sales trainer who, uh, if, the, if the area of information they got to give you is this big, they only teach you this much. So there's a little tiny gap that they leave out. And sometimes people will say, hey, Scott, how come you're not telling me the whole story? How come you're not giving me every piece of information that I need right now? So this is, this is gonna be why. Now, for some people, that little tiny gap is that fight of information that they have to get that really makes them better at what they do. Because if they just get everything, then what happens is they're not able to pay attention enough and they don't, they don't pull in the right way, they don't learn the right way, and it creates some challenges for them. So a lot of times I'll work with groups of people or I'll work with somebody one-on-one -on -one for coaching and I'll give them almost everything that they need, almost everything that they need because I want them to make that connection. I want them to ask questions, I want them to be engaged. So if you have a sales trainer and they're giving you everything, that's cool. If you have a business coach and they're giving you everything, that's cool too. But that growth that happens and that little tiny gap that you're not getting, where, where you as an individual or even me, if I'm having coaching and I'm not seeing the whole picture and I gotta ask more questions and I gotta be engaged, it makes me better at what I do. Now, what you should be getting from this is sometimes when you're dealing with clients, this is a way to help get them to get drawn in so that they're asking questions. So you're painting the picture for them, but you're just living like a little bit of the picture out that they have to paint for themselves. And then they have to go, oh, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Or, you know, I really don't understand this. I gotta ask some more questions. It pulls them in and draws. So if you have a coach and they're doing that, it's a good idea to not get irritated with them. And it's done for a reason because it makes you think and it makes you ask questions. That works to your benefit, okay? So just look for things that you could do when you're dealing with a client, whether you're a salesperson, whether you're in marketing, whether you're doing, to give that person a little bit more time to think and then have them come back and ask you some questions about what's going on. Because that really does help you out and that does work for you. But if you do it too much, then that person's gonna get frustrated. But you do wanna leave some points where they can have that aha moment and go, aha, that makes sense. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there is a subscribe button. Subscribe, then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Scott Silvan Bell. Only Scott Bell with someone else. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.